Hello, we are talking about common mistakes which people do uh, during transformations. Here is one. The order of transformation. As I have speci specified many times, we need to follow a proper order. First, we should do multiply, that means stretches and compressions and reflections, and then the translation. Second important thing is that we should factor common factors uh, from x. The coefficient of x should always be 1 and not 2, 3, minus or whatever. Correct? Let's see how it really affects. So I'll show you the mistakes which people do first and then we will do the correct way. Correct? Let's see how to transform this function and from the original function gx which is square root of x. Now fx is a transformed function of gx. Now what is square root of x? Square root of x is a function something like this, correct? Where x is greater than or equal to 0 and it is in quadrant 1. Now when you see this, then some students will do what? They will say minus of x, so they will reflect it, correct? like this, they reflect it and don't bother about the stretches which I am doing but concentrate on the way it is being done, okay. And they say minus 2 means 2 units to the right and then they will move this to 2 units to the right and they get this answer. As this is 2 and they say the function is this side. Well, this is not correct uh, and it's a very common mistake. What is really the correct way of doing it? So let me write here big and bold wrong. Now let's see how to do it correctly. So first part is when you take the function simplify it or write it in proper way. So here we will take minus common. So we take minus common and we get x minus becomes plus 2 correct. When you take minus outside it becomes x plus 2 square root. So this is actually the function given to you, correct? If you open this, you get minus x minus 2. Isn't that right? Yes, it is. So now you think about transformations. So what is the transformation now? Transformation is reflect on y-axis, horizontally reflect, correct? This one means horizontal reflection. on y-axis and what does this mean? This means translate two units to left. Two units left. Remember this is within the function square root x not outside okay. So this is all dealing with horizontal things not vertical correct. Only the coordinates which will change is x coordinates not y. Now once you understand this and you factor it out, then you get the correct graph. And now we can draw the correct version of the same thing. Okay? So the correct version is like this. You know, this is our original function, square root x. Now what we do here? We translate it. We first reflect it, horizontal reflection. And once you do that, you get this graph. And then do two units left. When you do two units left, you get your final graph and which will look like this. Okay? This is at minus two. So now, do you can you tell me what is the new domain and range for this function? The domain is? It has changed, right? Domain is x belongs to real number where x is what? Less than equal to minus two. Do you understand? x is less than equal to minus 2. Earlier, you got x less than equal to 2. That was wrong. And range? Range is y belongs to real number where y is greater than or equal to 0. So nothing happened to y values. They remained same. The x values got affected because the transformation was within the function. Do you understand? There's one more check and that check is from inequalities. 
we can check whether the inequality is satisfied or not. Okay, so we will do that inequality check once again. That is, let's write down the original function minus x minus 2. It should be greater than or equal to 0. So, inside part of the square should be greater than or equal to 0. So, we can do this. Let's solve this inequality. We'll transfer this on this side. So, this is minus x is greater than or equal to. We'll bring 2 this side. So, it becomes plus 2. Is that okay? And now, you multiply by minus on both sides. When you do so, don't forget to change the sign. And when you change the sign, it becomes x is less than equal to minus 2. So that's our result. We got it, right? x is less than equal to minus 2. Perfect. So this is absolutely right. And that is our domain, as you can see. Correct? And range is not getting affected it is greater than or equal to 0. This is very important for you to understand in each transformation, especially inside the function part. I would like you to factor whatever is the coefficient of x and then proceed. Otherwise, you may get a wrong answer. Okay? Remember this for all times to come. Thank you. I hope you appreciate it.